Hey guys, are you considering a career in tech sales? Then this video is for you. I've been working in tech sales for the past six years or so. I've worked in both large global corporates and also small edgy startup. And because I love my profession so much and talk about it, I get tons of questions from friends about what it's like to work in tech sales. In this video, I want to share with you both the glamorous sides and perhaps the more challenging aspects of working as a high tech salesperson. So the first thing you should know, which is really awesome if I may say, is that salaries and compensation are amazing in tech sales. In this role, for example, at entry level sales jobs, you earn around 20K per month on average. And as you gain more experience, you earn 35K, 50K, and some months with some like and a lot of hard work, 80K plus, plus, plus. And this includes the base and the commission. And actually funny story, an ex colleague of mine got promoted to become a sales manager. And he started complaining that he's making less now than a sales rep. And yeah, it's that good. In this role, there actually aren't enough good English speaking salespeople. Yes, even during COVID, the market is booming as all those digital first companies need more people at the front line. If you demonstrate energy, motivation, spice, communication capabilities, and most importantly, preparation, then you can definitely land a sales job as an SDR, a sales development rep a BDR, a business development rep, or some junior account executive or account manager job without experience. By preparation, I mean learning the basics of technology sales. A lot of it, by the way, is methodologies that you learn. You're not just born with it and practicing what we call discovery calls with deep questions basic product demonstrations, some level of negotiation, etc. You should spend time preparing to boost your chances of landing an amazing sales job. And trust me, the first paycheck you'll get will justify all your hard work very quickly. So I personally went into sales because I really wanted to work with people globally as opposed to just sitting in front of my desk, programming or doing my thing. I've always loved presenting, being on stage, exciting, communicating and connecting with people. In that sense, sales is perfect for anyone that wants a sort of interaction with people uh, from all walks of life, from pretty much everywhere. Uh, also, we get to travel, visit our clients, attend conferences while this was before COVID, dress up, go to dinners with partners and just live our best life to be frank and I mean if you like it so most jobs in sales not all of them are not nine to five jobs if you're looking for a really balanced and predictable schedule then it's going to be a little challenging for in sales if suddenly a customer you've been chasing for months answers you and is free to talk you'll probably go ahead and call him or perhaps you schedule the call with another time zone and it's late your end or there is some emergency uh, internally uh, to try to save some deal from being lost. So every day looks a bit different in sales and we have to be more flexible than other professions. But the good thing again is that the harder and better you work, the more you gain. So it's a good trade-off in my opinion because in many professions you find yourself working really hard, long hours, but you don't earn more for it. I like the impression you may have gotten from the wolf of Wall Street today in tax sales. It's all about collaboration with your colleagues. You don't really win deals by working as a lone self-centered wolf anymore. No, the selling and buying environment today for most technologies is extremely complex. We're talking about running project evaluations that sometimes take six and nine months involving different resources from your company like tech, marketing, product developers, you name it. So great salespeople today need to be great team players and orchestrate both internal teams and the client's team. This is a project management side of sales that forces you to be organized, accountable, and track activities on a weekly basis. Sales today is more about understanding the customer than pushing. Most industries today are extremely saturated and all the information is out there online. The result is that clients, while well, we call them prospects before they sign, come to us when they've already done a good amount of research. So our job has changed from just providing information and then pushing like some car dealers to actually analyzing with them, listening, reading between the lines and helping prospects navigate complex buying processes. So there's a lot more creativity, research and analysis that we need to apply. The best salespeople today become real experts of the industry they serve. And to share with you, I block a few hours per week just to read about my industry. What's new? What's trending? What's happening? So when I do get in calls with prospects, I come off as an updated consultant, not just a pushy, annoying, superficial salesperson, if you know what I mean. In sales, it's really easy to measure our success, but also on the flip side, our failure. So you pretty much always walk around with a dollar sign on your forehead for better or worse. 
Now, the good side is, which I connect to, um, that because you're in the spotlight of your company as a salesperson, you get a lot of attention and resources, and this is cool, I mean, for people that like it. Then there is a lot of highs and sometimes lows. There's adrenaline when you're waiting for that signature end of quarter. There's tons of action, there's tons of pressure. Uh, you will get calls from your VP and CEO sometimes late at night. Hey, what's going on with this deal and that deal? You have to like the sort of fast-paced, action-packed environment uh, because most sales teams are like that. Uh, we're like one big paranoid family navigating a crazy jungle. So again, lots of highs, Lots of lows as well, we do get rejected uh, quite a bit, uh, actually most of the time. But again, you have to have this sort of resilient mindset that loves this hunting, uh, you focus on your goals, you go ahead and you keep doing your thing until you succeed and you will succeed because a lot of sales is about learning and acquiring skills and not just being born this talented salesperson and like how sales was perhaps in movies or before today, it's a lot about learning, adapting, keeping updated. Okay, ladies and gents, I could probably go on for hours talking about sales, but that's it for this video. I welcome you to reach out to me, to ask questions, DM me, consult with me, and I wish you good luck.